All right, guys, I got a treat for you today. I actually recorded several episodes of this already. When my capture card was acting funny and it erased all the audio. So I got to start over. I saw the Game Grumps playing a version of this not too long ago, and they had no fucking clue what they were doing, which is fine. I go to a new game. I'm gonna go easy on my son. Okay, if you guys have ever played Castlevania for the N64, the original one just had these two, and the level design was a little crappy. This one is called Legacy of Darkness. When you first start, you can only play as this guy. It's kind of like a. I don't know, uh, light nose loafers, Bruce Lee looking bleach blonde guy, but he turns into a werewolf. You beat the whole game with him, his whole mission, and then it unlocks the original game, but the levels are a little bit improved for these guys, and they get different costumes. And if you beat the game with this guy, you also unlock this guy, Henry. You rescue him as a child with Cornell. And he ends up becoming a priest knight. And he goes out when these two go out to save children that have been round up as a sacrifice. I really want to do his mission. It's way different than these three. But he doesn't go through everything like they do and fight everything. You just got to go through like the first six or seven levels and find these children within six days. And he carries like a reloadable 45. And as he gets upgrades for it, it becomes more like a 12-gauge shotgun. It's, it's pretty awesome. I like playing it like that. So, got Cornell. I've got two different outfits for him. I don't like his first outfit. I'll do his second outfit. I was actually really far in this before this happened. Actrice is her name. I cannot figure out for the life of me where they got her from. The guy in the suit to the, well, nicely right hand side, I believe that is. Oh my god, what is his name? French guy. Helped Joan of Arc, but it turns out he was like a nut job and he was like killing children and eating them or something like that. That's who they modeled him out. They gave him, well, they gave him that same guy's name. I can't think of it off the top of my head. And I'm wondering if Actrice isn't modeled after the woman from Bathory that did the same thing with kids. She would take virgins and slit their throats and like bathe in their blood and kill them and 
drink their blood. She thought it kept them young. When people found out for sure what was happening, they locked her up. I think they walled her into one room in her castle and let her starve to death. Ah, this outfit's not much better than the original. You're not missing anything, but it's not in the original outfit. This guy's kind of like a come through werewolf loosely. story to go. Cornell, also known as Blue Crescent Moon. Through magic of the ancients, this man-beast warrior obtained a physical body of near immortality and a power that surpasses that of a wild beast. The man-beasts, choosing to live harmoniously with humans, sealed away their enormous magical powers to prevent them from being used. However, through severe ascetic training, Cornell acquired the art for releasing the sealed man-wolf power. After a year of traveling and ascetic training, Cornell rushed back to his village, only to find that evil spirits had set the village on fire engulfing the village in a lotus flower of flames. His only living blood relative, his sister Ada, was carried away by the evil spirits. Now, he must save her. Cornell uses the man-wolf's acute sense of smell to track the scent of his sister's blood. Reinhard Schneider, Carrie Fernandez, we go back eight years in time. This game's actually a really fun game. I know Game Grumps, they did the original. Uh, they couldn't figure out what the main the attack devil. was. I only watched like one or two now episodes and I had to, I had to shake my head because they couldn't figure out how to play it right. But this is actually a really fun game. I don't know if it's necessarily worthy of the Castlevania brand. But this is actually a really fun game. You gotta figure that this is from the infancy of Nintendo doing 3D designed levels. So yeah, a lot of the games from this era have questionable design flaws in their levels and characters. But, you know, start with baby steps, and then you end up with the awesome stuff that you see today. I really enjoyed this game. You gotta save these red jewels up. And then if you hit both the shoulder buttons at the same time, you'll become a werewolf. And I, there, I swear there is a way to change back once you become a werewolf. But I can't remember for the life of me what it is. I hate the knife. Okay, this door is locked. I know that. I gotta go get the key. The key's in one of these uh, porches. The targeting system in this game is not exactly the greatest either. 
at least with this Castlevania, they gave you a good reason. I think this was one of the first ones where they gave you a good reason to save the gold. Because you can actually use it in a shop. I think you could do that in Castlevania 2 also, but I don't think you could in Castlevania 3. I could be wrong. Castle, uh, yeah, 3 for the regular Nintendo was like my favorite growing up. is a way to jump across and get to all those over there, but I forget for the life of me what it is. That's how you do it. It's an invisible beam. Don't like the axe, but it's better than the knife. There. Don't want him to fall. Mysterious wall chicken. I don't think I can jump high enough to get back up there, can I? That's alright. You saw how to get over there. I'm not entirely sure what's in that one. But it's alright. I don't need it. It's probably roast beef or... better throwing item, but probably not something to get upset about not getting. Oh hell, you don't even have to jump. God bless it. Alright, let's forget about those. I just want to get my key and get down in here. I don't want this episode to last too long. I'm going to finish the boss of the lake. And then I'll leave off there. I think I'll try to do, like, each level as an episode. I get the door key. No, I didn't get the damn door key. are weird ass masts on this ship. That's where the door key is. It's really weird playing this game again, though, with uh, 
N64 controllers only got one analog, analog stick. That makes it really weird. I haven't got a single upgrade yet. Usually you get at least like one. The little upgradey things, you know what I'm talking about. Like they always made Simon's whip better or whatever. They just make this guy's attack a little more powerful and it gives it a little better range. the outfit wouldn't look too bad on him if it just didn't have those orange shoulders. It is better than his other outfit. His other outfit I think is lavender. It looks like it's made out of silk. Blue looks better. jump down there and get that stuff, but I don't feel like it. I feel like I wasted enough time on the top side. Plus this this particular level had that long ass intro. And that's something that's nice about playing my N64 over my 360. My N64 never sounds like it wants to achieve orbit. give me a single I jumped oh that's right you gotta jump towards his hand but oh you get away from that stuff all right turned into a werewolf Makes you much stronger. All right. That's on to the Forest of Silence. I'm going to go ahead and save here. That's going to be the end of this episode. It's not a whole lot, guys. That's all right. I can't figure out for the life of me how to turn back. I know it can be done, I just forget. So I end up wasting all my little red jewels. 
anyway, if you guys liked, you guys want to see more of this, let me know. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Leave a comment, and I will talk to you guys next time. Sorry, this ain't more exciting. The game gets better.